What's up guys and welcome to today's vlog. First thing we're doing, I am cleaning out my closet. I have a bunch of clothes that I never wear and there's actually a sale going on at Nordstrom right now so I was like, Aspen, we should go. But first I have to clean out my closet and get rid of a bunch of stuff that I don't wear. We also have to go to Ikea today. We are getting cabinets for our office. So we're gonna go see about that at Ikea. Anyways, right now I'm gonna start cleaning out my closet. So this is the last of the clothes that I am getting rid of. I actually got rid of quite a bit of clothes. All of these hangers had clothes on it. So I got rid of a bunch of t-shirts and stuff and I got rid of a bunch of jackets and I have a bunch of shirts in here that are like workout shirts and hiking shirts and you know, shirts I don't really care about as much. I feel like I did a good job of getting rid of it all. We have a ton of stuff that we have to take to donate. It's out here, let me show you guys. This is all the stuff that we're taking to Goodwill. It's what, five, almost six garbage bags full of stuff. I think we did a good job getting rid of them. What, you wanna put those boots in there too? I'm hungry now, so I think me we're gonna- too. and I'm so excited because there's pasta and lately I've been obsessed with pasta in our HelloFresh box. HelloFresh is sponsoring today's vlog. I am literally starving and we need to cook it now. Yeah, let's go, let's make it. So these are all the meals that we have this week for our vegetarian box. We are going to make this pasta. It looks so good. You can also add extra meals to your weekly order if you want to. And apparently they also have new different sides and desserts like garlic bread and cookie dough. We will definitely be trying those in our next box. I'm sure you guys have seen HelloFresh, but if you haven't, it's meal kit delivery service. So this is the one that we are making. This was delivered right to our door. Each bag has all of the pre-measured ingredients and they all take about 30 minutes, which is perfect because we have a lot of stuff to do today. So, let's get started. What did I say? Fill up the pot with boiling water? Yep. You said fill it up with boiling water. I just <laughs> asked how, said... you put, how you boil it before you put it in the pot. My first dad joke ever! No, you've been making other ones. So as I was saying, I have been obsessed with making pasta lately because I feel like it's always so easy. So we have our picture instructions. First thing we're gonna do, wash and dry all produce. Also, fun fact, HelloFresh has more five-star recipes than any other meal kit, so you know you're getting something good. Oh yeah. And I was just thinking, which maybe I've said this, I don't know, but I swear HelloFresh recipes are the only ones that somehow I like never mess up. Like anytime I ever film myself cooking, I'm like, okay, like it didn't really turn out that great, but with HelloFresh, like I never have any problems. I feel like they really simplify the instructions and stuff, and that might be it. HelloFresh is now from $6.99 per serving and is America's number one meal kit. It's a great opportunity to get, yeah, it's a great opportunity to get a good discount on that. Get started with eight free meals. That's $80 off your first month of HelloFresh. You go to HelloFresh.com and use the code ASPENPARKER80. That link is in the description. Once again, go to HelloFresh.com and use the code ASPENPARKER80 to get $80 off your first week of deliveries. We made it to Ikea. We're looking for some cabinets for our office. Hopefully this closet experience. I think, well, maybe it's different. Oh yeah, should we say why? Hopefully it doesn't go the We're same as our last time. To get, why? Yeah, if you guys don't remember, basically we did a custom Ikea closet and it did not fit. We still don't know how. Like we triple checked our measurements, so somehow they messed up, but I don't know how they could like mess up with the system that they have. Yeah. But since what we're looking for is really simple, we I think we'll we build try a, yeah. it. Again. We'll make it work. It'll which, work this time. I know it will. Hopefully it's fine. Okay guys, so we saw this thing which I really like. And I was thinking, oh, maybe we could get this, but then I realized I don't think it will work. So if you guys have seen our office, we should have showed you before. We've You've seen it before, but we should have showed you before we left. But anyway, so you would walk in and this would be on the side. And then we have like desks right here. So what we were thinking is having cabinets that go all along the wall. And then the desk is like next to that, but we just have shelves where the desk is. So it like makes sense that the desk is next to it. So obviously this wouldn't work for that, but I really like it. So here's an example kind of of what we're talking about, how 
how the desk would like connect to the shelves, but I don't know. I don't know that we'd actually know what to make do. it fit like perfect. Yeah, I don't know if it would fit perfect unless it's like meant to be together, yeah. but if you're looking at like these, but I'm just not loving it. Okay guys, so we are back to this one. What we might do, we're gonna keep looking, but I really like this one, so I think that we might possibly get two of these. And then instead of having the desks against the wall, we might just move one of the desks to the center, which Parker actually works at so his desk. Like I sit, never do. Like sitting, it'd be like a legit office, you know? Yeah, like so they... yeah, so these would go where the desks actually are, and then we would have a desk in the center, and then Parker's chair, and then I don't know if there's- have to get a there's... chair or two chairs to go in front of the window then. In front of the window? Be a lot of space over there. Wait, what window? A lot of empty, the only windows in the in but the, the office. But the chairs would be like two chairs, not like this. These are too big. But you yeah, know how no. you have like a chair and then the desk and then two chairs. Yeah. We'll have to see how big that room is. Yeah. But yeah, so we're gonna keep looking. But we might do that. All right, guys. So we did end up deciding to go with that thing that we showed you guys. We're gonna put it against the wall and move the desk to the center. It is going to be a project. It wasn't like a complete set of things. It's literally like you buy every single individual piece and it's not necessarily like meant to go together. Like you can put it together, but it wasn't like a complete set. So this is gonna be a huge project that's gonna take forever. We also got a couple other things. So I'll kind of show you guys a little bit more when we get home. I can't really help lift the boxes because baby so i think i'm gonna go get us an ice cream all right so our next stop is target we were gonna go to the mall but it started kind of late in the day and it's already pretty late yeah. i don't want to go we've have been gone for a while either. too and the dog's home yeah i don't like to leave luma for too long yeah so we're at target now do you remember do you have our list do you i do <gasps> guys i'm trying to decide what kind of pads I should get for after I have the baby. A lot of people say they really like the underwear because you like bleed a lot. Yeah, you probably want to get some of these. Uh, but I don't know if I want that. Panties. I know, I don't know what to do. <laughs> but I don't think you would use that for more than like maybe a couple days. You need like really big, thick ones. <laughs> I haven't bought these in a long time. What? You have bought these? No, I'm saying I haven't. You just said you haven't in a long time, meaning you Oh, have I haven't before. bought these diapery ones. Let's see, extra heavy, you 36. No, I just said I don't think you would use that for more than. Oh wait, do they have a smaller pack? We'll see, I can always get more from my hospital bag. I don't know. Those okay, good. I think we'll, we'll try, try them. them. We'll the good them. news is, okay, so I did a video on my channel. I'll link it down below. I was talking about just some things we were doing to prep for the baby and one of those things was I wrote out like a list of things I want to put in my hospital bag I'll probably pack it when I'm like 36 weeks the good news is the hospital's super super close so if I forget anything my mom or my sister or Parker or Lauren or whoever can just run to our house and grab it but I do want to be prepared so doing a little bit of shopping for our hospital bag I need to look at my list because I don't remember anything else that I have on there another thing that we should think about we can maybe get a couple things everyone says make sure to bring snacks for the husband to the yeah. hospital so can you think of anything that you want why did you go to the something. treat aisle <laughs> <laughs> i thought we don't want something healthy yeah it has to be something i don't like that much because i can't eat when i'm in labor so <laughs> you have to get we food get that i don't want all right, so everyone says to bring your own pillow and blanket to the hospital. I don't know if I will for sure, but this one is cute if I do. And we also need to replace one of the ones in our living room because this material, I love it, but it just doesn't always like last forever. So we need a new one of those. And then the says to, take, to bring a ton of paper towels. So we've got all these. No, they don't. I also wanted to get some little PJs that are like buttoned down. So it'll be easy for nursing. So these ones are just like super soft and look really cool comfy and then i don't know for sure if i'm gonna get this i ordered two other nursing bras but i feel like they just like they were kind of complicated so i found this one it is a nursing bra but it looks so tiny it is a size small i wanted to get a medium but they didn't have it so still trying to decide about this also found these underwear everyone says get granny pennies someone actually had opened it what are these are i did really? not open this then don't get them it was get the only pack one. of them somebody tried them on then probably no, you don't try on underwear. That's Somebody weird. They were girls. probably just looking at them, but that one was all messed up, so I took it out, which actually is helpful to see what they look like. So here I am, underwear shopping. All right, last thing I'm looking for is slippers. Everyone says to bring slippers to the hospital. Why do they not have any slippers? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that was a fail. 
They have no slippers. I did order some on ASOS, but they were a little bit expensive, so I was gonna try and find cheaper ones. Yeah, no slippers here. Look at my freaking belly. Bye, it is actually huge. Okay, we are back home. These are a couple more things that I got from Ikea. I'm kind of just over this color. So that is gonna find a new home. Wanted to kind of just switch these out with some more, kind of, ooh, careful. With some more kind of like neutrally things. So I need to kind of rearrange all of those, but I think they're super, super cute. They also got these little handles for the table, dresser, whatever thing we're gonna put in the office. We're not putting that together today because we're waiting for a couple pieces to be delivered. So that's a project for another day, but we got the handles. We also got an extra pasta strainer. Somehow one is not enough. I literally don't know how. We also got this little basket set because over there, we just call it the crap counter, pretty sure. Every house has one where somehow like a bunch of crap just goes there. So I thought if we had a tray to put stuff in, then it's still gonna like be a place where papers are thrown because every house just has to have that. But it'll be at least like somewhat more organized in this basket rather than literally spread across the whole counter. We also got some little desk organization things. And then I kind of showed you guys everything from Target. So I think we're gonna end the vlog here. I don't know how long it is, but I feel like we have a ton of footage. We'll see. We've been trying to make sure the vlogs are not too short for you guys. Oh wait, I didn't show you our rug. We also got this little rug from Ikea. Our backyard is almost done. So we've been going out here more and just kind of need a place to like wipe off your feet so there's no footprints and stuff. Anyways, now I'm ending the vlog. So we hope you guys enjoyed watching and don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.